Hi guys, it's Faith. Um, so if you follow me on social media, you probably know or have guessed at least that we are um, moving. We are selling our house and um, one of the major reasons that we are selling our house is to pay off all of our debt. So um, we're spending quite a bit each month just towards debt and interest and things and we weren't paying it down. So we had a lot of equity in our house and um, we, by selling it, we're able to wipe out all of the debt and kind of have a fresh start. So um, with that said, we are moving. It is in our area, at least, it's a seller's market. There's not much available um, in the way of us buying rent is more than our mortgage was so it's been a really really stressful time um, we purchased a house it's really close to my husband's work my husband and I had very different ideas of what we wanted in a home um, but we did find one so we're not gonna be homeless um, I will go ahead and post a clip so that you can see what our new house looks like hi guys so this is our new house. Um, there's a little, this is the um, first look. We haven't done anything, we're not even moved in yet. Obviously this is the living room. <laughs> there's Logan in this like little closet thing. There's no cold closet, so that's kind of interesting. Um, then we'll go down the hall. There is a really funky bathroom. Where they put like um, like the kind of tile that you would put in in a shower, they put that on the floor, and then the kind of tile that you would put on your floor, they put on the walls. So it's really like hodgepodge. And then there's the shower. So the linen closets. Um, this is one of the bedrooms. Awesome paint job. Another bedroom. And one of the closets have uh, doors. The second house I've bought where they take their closet doors for some reason. This, I don't know, we're debating on making this like a playroom or a guest room or whatever. No, Again, get out of this house. <laughs> this wanna be my room. I don't know. Brian and I have extremely different opinions on what everything should be used for. This is the dining room. Little, well, dining area, I guess. It's not a dining room. Um, there's a little deck outside, which is cute. The kitchen um, needs some work. That's nice countertops, though. This is the master, big space. Nice walk-in closet, it's big. It's bigger than what I have now, actually. The master bath is probably the nicest part of the house. nice and then the basement there is a finished side and an unfinished side this is the finished side of the basement this is a big space so I want to like divide it up so that the kids have a play area and Brian can have his space, and I would really love a space of my own for once. Um, but who knows? This is like just the unfinished side. That door, um, like, goes to the garage and stuff. I really like this mirror. It's kind of cool. They left it here. And then in this door is like laundry and storage, like the really, really unfinished, the furnace and stuff like that. So that is 
the first glance look of our new house and um, it'll be interesting to see what we do to make it more like a home. So that is um, our new house and uh, needs some work for sure. It's a lot smaller than the house I'm used to. It's a lot smaller than the house um, we've been raising our kids in so far and different kind of neighborhood. Um, it's not a busier street and it's just, it's gonna be different. Um, I keep telling myself it's just another house. I've moved my whole life. Um, so it's not the end of the world. It's just, um, it's just frustrating. I like the house that I'm in and I don't wanna leave it and that makes it hard. Uh, trying to, having to find new schools and preschools and potentially church and you know all of that kind of stuff it's just kind of overwhelming and um, just is what it is and there's um, other things that have been going on that we've been dealing with so it's just been a really really stressful time and I've been struggling just straight up I've been struggling um, struggling with a lot of things and um, it's hard because I don't really have close friends or friends that are that I'm comfortable with sharing my life and like my dirty secrets and what's going on in my heart um, the struggles a lot of times when you say things they become more real so I'm one of those people who likes to kind of shove things down which is not always healthy <laughs> or the best but it's what I tend to do Sometimes I wish I had somebody that I could like talk to, and I do have my I do have my best friend um, that I know I can talk to, and I I, I have her. I just um, she's always on my side and in my corner no matter what, and I know that. And sometimes when I'm looking for a voice of reason, my wonderful best friend is not that because I know that she will support whatever I do, um, or however I feel, even if it's not necessarily justified I guess you could say but um that's what's been going on and I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and I'm here and I'm alive and I'm well and I have a place to live my kids are well and everything is going to be fine but it's just there's just a lot going on um my husband and I are talking about homeschooling my son it's been my heart for a while now to homeschool him. I really want to do it. I'm excited about it and um, Ryan's not necessarily on the same page. So there's been a lot of tension and a lot of conversations and emotions are just running high right now and it's a confusing time. So you know those of you who are praying people if you could pray for me and just pray that I find clarity and peace in everything that's going on right now um that would be great i would appreciate it and yeah i just wanted to kind of chat with you guys and I look forward to seeing you in my next one